One fall with a 10-minute time limit. In the red corner at 248 pounds from Tampa, Florida, Paul Orndorff. And in the blue corner at 226 pounds from South Wales, Tony Charles. And the introduction of the opening event on this week's straight card for Mid-South Wrestling is Jerry Usher called for the bell, Paul Orndorff, against the man often referred to as the wrestler with a thousand holds from South Wales, Tony Charles. Our guest commentator, Bob Ruth. Thank you, Boyd. Both these men very, very capable. Obviously fine athletes, both of them, without very, very little excess flesh on their body. Their muscles stand out in sharp relief. You know something, Boyd? One thing a lot of people don't know about Paul Orndorff, among all the other things that he does, he's a philanthropist. Oh, nice move there on both men's part. As I was saying, Paul Orndorff is a philanthropist. For people who don't know what that means, that means that he donates money to a worthy char uh, a cause, and he's offered $1,000 to anybody that puts Ted DiBiotti, uh, I see, out of professional wrestling, which, in my mind, is a worthy charge. And uh, Tony Charles goes for a single leg sweep. Paul has to be careful here because Tony is a deceptive, mild-mannered, but very, very explosive. Both men with a different style. Both men are winners. And talking about a winner, you fans can be the winner in our dream match here on Mid-South Wrestling. If you'll take time to send a letter to the television station in which you're listening, Mid-South Wrestling, and they'll forward it on to us here. And then the first taping on January the 6th of 1982, the letter requesting the same match the most will be the match that you, the fans, will be able to make. So remember Andre the Giant, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, all the top stars, Bob Roop, Terry Orndorff, if he wins his match against the Junkyard Dog, they'll all be here available for your match. So write it in to the television station in which you're watching and they'll send it on to us. That's the dream match coming up in January. Right now, Paul Orndorff continues the attack on Tony Charles. A lot of mobility here, boy. A lot of moving around, countering. Tony mistake, uh, made a mistake just a, mi a minute earlier, not getting up fast enough. Paul Orndorff was able to put the boots to him. Again, Tony Charles not. Now there he could either get out of the ring or get back to his feet and not give that man a chance to take advantage of him. He, it's his mistake as far as I'm concerned. Paul Orndorff following, following up his advantage with an arm bar. Looked like a head lever there of some sort. Got him back down to the mat where he can bring his weight to bear. Makes a big difference. And Tony, making a, Tony Charles makes a, a strength move there. Lifts his entire weight with just his, just his left arm. Very impressive. Got Paul up too high, got Paul Orndorff too high, was able to leg scissors him. You have to keep your head low when you're down on the mat against a man like that who can use his legs. Tony Charles uses every part of his body. Paul Orndorff able to come out using his flexibility and strength. Tremendously strong, strong athlete. Again, now he's taking it to Tony Charles. Tony Charles has left himself open for this sort of thing. And Paul Orndorff has certainly taken advantage of it. Wrestling is the roughest roughest professional sport there is. And a move out just in the nick of time by Tony Charles. Maybe he deceived Paul Orndorff there, Boyd. It looks like he got him a little bit overconfident. Paul was a little bit slow following in after that turnbuckle. Beautiful move on Paul Orndorff's part. Tony Charles shows some remarkable balance. He went through the ropes there. Oh, nice move over the top with that one foot drop kick. Paul Orndorff drops down, Tony Charles stops, gets a one count, very unusual. Now test the strength, Bob. Well, now Paul Orndorff, to me, is going to have the advantage in this situation, and he doesn't even make it a test of strength, he just fights his way out of it. Again, a little bit overconfident, a little bit too slow on the follow-up. Tony Charles, out through the ropes again, this time it looks like he caught his foot, he didn't, he didn't manage to land on his feet like he did last time. This time he, he came down across his back and his, uh, his shoulders. On the far side, and Paul Orndorff reaches out and slams him face first on the ring apron. Tony Charles is making the mistake of not protecting himself here. Paul Orndorff has no choice. His object is to try to beat this man. He has no choice but to take it to him here. Tony Charles is not protecting himself. Now, 
Big suplex from the outside. Ooh, crashing down with one, two, three. Very decisive, impressive win for Paul Orndorff. There's a hand raise, a victory for Paul Orndorff. We'll be back. Ned DiBiase against the Polish friend.